Hello and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Drifter and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Drifter's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and the motivations we give the dogs while we're working with them, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred's using a regular six foot web training leash and he'll keep most of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, which leaves the left hand free to give a correction. The correction if needed is a tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. You're gonna to wanna to keep that collar high up behind Drifter's ears and that will give you the most control over him while you're working him through his commands. You'll notice that Drifter is seated nicely on Fred's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. The first command that we'll demonstrate for you today is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash and the command is Drifter heal. You're then going to want to take off walking and Drifter's been trained to walk nicely on your left at your pace and incorporated into the heel exercise is an automatic sit so anytime you stop walking Drifter should sit nicely on your left waiting for his next command. When you're walking with Drifter if he starts to pull forward the correction is a tug and release and say no heel and as well with this automatic sit if he doesn't sit you're going to give him a tug and release and tell him no sit. Fred's now going to demonstrate the stay command. It's the open flat of your left palm and the one word firm command to stay. In the beginning, make your sit stays relatively short, but build up his ability to stay for longer periods of time. When Fred returns back to Drifter, he's going to walk all the way around and Drifter should remain seated until he receives praise or another command. Nicely done. We'll run through the heel, the sit, and the stay again for you. Nice automatic sit. Fred's going to leave him in another stay. Instead of returning back to Drifter, this time Fred is going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. Say Drifter come and he comes in and sits nicely right in front and Fred's going to have him return back to heel position and we'll show that to you one more time. He's going to leave him in a sit stay. Walk out to the end of the leash, and then he will call him in. The command is drifter come, and he comes in and sits right in front. Perfectly done. You're going to want to incorporate all of these new commands into your daily life, but we also ask that you set it aside about 10 minutes a day, run through the commands in a formal session such as this video. It'll keep the commands fresh and keep drifter responding to you. You can do this both inside and outside. Fred's now going to demonstrate the down from a heel position. You always want to have Drifter seated first and then your left hand straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. As with the sit stay, you're going to make your down stays relatively short in the beginning but build up his ability to do this for longer periods of time. When Fred returns back to Drifter, he's going to walk all the way around and Drifter should remain lying down until he receives praise or another command. Nicely done and we will show you down from a heel one more time. You always want to have Drifter seated first before you give a down command. Very good job. Now if you give Drifter the down command and he doesn't listen to you, the first word out of your mouth is no and then you're going to repeat the command. This time Fred's going to call Drifter in. The command is Drifter come. Drifter comes in, sits nicely in front and then Fred will bring him back to heel. Very good job. The last command that Drifter and Fred are setting up for here is down from a distance. When you practice down from a distance at home you're going to leave Drifter in a sit stay and you will then use your right hand and the one word from command to down. He started to come in so Fred repeats the command. Perfectly done. As you heard, when Drifter doesn't respond, the first word out of your mouth is no, and then repeat the command. If need be, you just start over, but just stay patient. Uh, Drifter has done such a great job while he's been here at school. We've really enjoyed having him. We ask that you call and keep us posted on how he's doing once he's back home with you and schedule a follow-up lesson if you need it. And we thank you so much for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.